Chapter 2, Awakening Night I open my eyes and get up from my bed. I hold my throat, feeling an unbearable thirst. This time I felt like I couldn't control myself. I feared for my family's life, that I would do something myself, an action I would regret forever. I open the window, position myself at the edge, and jump. I don't know how much force I put in, but I felt the window frame crack a little, and soon I was in heaven. At night, I felt stronger, my senses increased. Before, I could hear my whole neighborhood, but now I don't know what the limit is. I also had no control over my feelings. I actually tried to control myself, but the bloodlust was holding me back. It was like I tried to drive a car, but I was too drunk to achieve any control. I was freaking out from the smell of blood. I need blood. I need blood. Without me realizing it, sharp fangs started to grow in my mouth. I fell on top of a building, and felt the crash of concrete breaking, but I ignored it and ran towards the stronger smell of blood. I don't know how long it took, my consciousness was almost fading, but I did my best to keep my consciousness active. I refused to become an animal overpowered by thirst. Soon, I was in a dark alley. Slowly, my world starts to change to the color of blood, and soon I see four silhouettes. Three men, and one woman, two men are holding the woman's arms, and another man is holding a knife to the woman's neck. I looked at the hearts of the three men as if watching prey, they looked just like my mother's, with the only difference being that the light of their hearts was weaker. Hey, who are you? Get out of here, they said something, but I didn't care. I looked at the woman, and realized she was weird. She didn't have a red light in her heart. Did she have a red light in her neck? For some reason, women attracted me more than men. One of the men walks towards me with a knife in his hand, he approaches me but stops walking when I look at him. Without my noticing, a predatory smile appeared on my face, and in that smile, they could see that my teeth looked sharper than a normal human. My teeth looked like a shark's, teeth that could easily tear through flesh and bones, and that sight startled the three bandits. The bad guys' faces started to change, they looked like they saw their worst nightmare manifested in front of them. M. Monster the thug who was holding the woman spoke, he tried to run away, but he couldn't, he was paralyzed. My smile grows abnormally when I feel the fear of the bad guys. I walked calmly towards them, they couldn't get away. By the time they looked into my eyes, they were already trapped like pigs being brought to the slaughter. With a display of supernatural speed, I peer in front of the bad guy with the knife. With a speed that he can't react to, I pierced his chest with my hand and pulled out his heart. Holding the man's heart in my hand, I felt the heart beating in an attractive rhythm, but for some reason, the man's blood didn't interest me. I opened my hands and the man's heart dropped to the ground. H huh? The movement I made was so fast that the bandit's own body didn't have time to react to what happened. All the bandit saw at the end of his life was the predatory smile and red eyes of the freak that attacked him. Hi Tilda. The thug who was holding the woman screamed like a scared little girl and tried to get away, but like his friend, he couldn't run. This time, I disappear in front of the thug and appear behind him and soon his vision starts to spin. It was as if he had lost his balance, but before the threat of life faded from his eyes, he realized that his head had separated from his body. I grab his head and use my tongue to lick the blood off his face. After all, I was curious about the taste, though I didn't feel like drinking his blood, but soon my expression distorted in disgust. Disgusting. I spit on the floor in disgust, it feels like I've eaten a bad hamburger. Now, I understood why I wasn't interested in these men's blood. I look at the last bandit left, using my arm like a sword, I cut the bandit in half. The bandit looks down and sees his body falling towards the ground. In the end he can't even say anything. I was intoxicated by the pleasure of killing and the smell of blood in the air. My consciousness was in a state in between wakefulness and sleep. From my perspective it felt like I was dreaming. Ha 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 I hear a woman's voice laughing. I look at her. My vision slowly returns to normal, and I see a beautiful pale woman with long white hair that is tied in a ponytail that reaches the floor. She has vibrant violet eyes, a nice figure, modest breasts, and an ass big enough that it can't be hidden by the black dress she's wearing. Was she wearing a dress with a tie? Her outfit looked like goth cosplay. She's also tall, just a little under my height. I don't know how tall I am now, 
but before my transformation I was 175 cm, I look around 180 cm now. As predicted, you exceeded my expectations, Victor. Hearing her voice again, I suddenly remembered the voice from when I woke up this morning. You when I was going to question her about the doubts I had, she put her finger to my lips. Shh. You must quench your thirst first, my blood will tell you everything you need to know, darling. Suddenly, she reached for the buttons of the dress she was wearing and started to undress. Slowly she showed some of her neck. Seeing that pale skin and smelling her a lot stronger than before. I swallow hard. My senses were going crazy, all I wanted was to sink my fangs into her neck. While keeping the flirtatious smile on her face she said, come. I hug her with all my strength and bite her neck. Ah Tilda. You are being very violent. I ignored what she said and started drinking her blood. It was the most delicious thing I've ever tasted in this life. I felt like I was eating a 5 star dish made by the most renowned chef in the world. But it wasn't just that, I felt a connection forming. I felt her whole existence. It was a euphoric feeling. It was like a drug you couldn't stop taking. Her blood tasted so good. Looks like you like my blood, that's good. She spoke with a flirtatious smile, I suddenly felt a bite on my neck. Everything I was feeling from drinking her blood suddenly intensified. The blood tasted 100x better, our connection increased and we became one. It was weird, but it wasn't bad. Actually, it was really good. Suddenly a set of memories started to enter my mind. I was in a place that I know well. This was the market I always go to when my mom needs to buy supplies. Apparently, I was seeing this woman's point of view. Are you sure? A woman's voice asked. She sounded quite unsure. Yes, I will make him my darling. The white-haired woman spoke with a loving smile. Suddenly the vision changed and I was in an abandoned building. Looks like the woman took me to some abandoned place. She bites her finger with her fang, and soon the blood starts to drip. When the blood falls to the ground something like a magic circle forms. When she looks at the ground, I see my old body lying there, and, did I look hurt? My arm had a big cut like a wild animal had clawed me. I could tell that I would have died from blood loss at any moment. When the circle formed on the ground, she bit her wrist. As soon as red blood started coming out of her arm, she brought her arm closer to my body, and let her blood fall into my mouth. She sits on my body, lifts me off the ground, hugs me, then she says, Victor, you're going to be reborn, I'm sorry about this. Suddenly, she breaks my neck, it stays connected to my body, and soon something happens. My body starts to regenerate at an unbelievable speed and the magic circle starts to spin on the ground. When my body stops regenerating, the magic circle suddenly disappears. The woman displays a satisfied smile, success. Suddenly, I open my eyes, and I realize that they are blood red. I get up quickly and hug the woman, then I bite the white-haired woman's neck. Ah Tilda. I finish biting the white-haired woman and the memories of the other person disappear, or she just stops sharing? Before I can figure out what happened next, the world around me starts to crumble and I wake up in the dark alley I was in earlier. What happened after I disappeared? Victor, do you want to kill me? You're already satisfied, right? She spoke with a playful smile. I stop biting the white-haired woman and look at her. I have a lot of questions on my mind now, but first, what's your name? The woman displays the most beautiful smile I have ever seen, Violet. Violet Snow. The Violet Ice Flower? Fancy name, huh? I commented with a small forced smile. My family is quite peculiar, she laughed. I bet it is I commented with the same smile, so I give my name too. Victor, Victor Walker, the walking Victor? That is very simple, she commented with a small laugh. Well, my family are simple people I commented with a shrug. Now that I've calmed down, I look at the corpses and feel my stomach churn at the sight. I feel like throwing up, but at the same time my body refuses to let anything out, after all. I was just nauseous. It was like I had taken a long 24-hour car ride, and I needed some air. I had mixed feelings about the situation, internally. I didn't care about the death of strangers, even though those deaths were caused by myself, but my rational mind knew that was wrong. But, honestly, I was just confused by everything that was going on, 
and I didn't care about those dead men. Violet, seeing my confused face, proposes, let's change locations. I nod in agreement, she approaches me, and says, try to follow me, I'll slow down. Violet suddenly, with a small impulse, jumps towards the building's roof. I try to do the same, but the ground around me ends up breaking. Looking at this, I realize how I have no control of my strength, leaving it aside for now, I start following Violet. I know she was the woman who made me what I am now, I should be suspicious of her, but for some reason, I can't do it. It's just a feeling, but I feel like I've met this woman once in the past, I just don't remember when. Well, baby steps, one baby step at a time, I know absolutely nothing right now to make a decision. For now, let's follow this beautiful vampire. Info? The sociopath is a term used to describe someone who has an antisocial personality disorder. People with this disorder, also called sociopathy, lack empathy. They cannot understand the feelings of others. The functional sociopath designates a person who, despite suffering from sociopathy, has the situation under control. E. The effects of sociopathy do not greatly affect their interaction with other people.